Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Got a really awesome video lined up for today. I'm gonna to show you how you can create a really compelling dashboard, like what we are looking at right now. And in this case, we're gonna focus in on sales performance. Now I'm gonna showcase how you can actually build this using a range of techniques in probably less than 10 minutes, honestly. Uh, all you have to do, I guess, is just have your data model set up really well uh, to be able to achieve it. Now, just a reminder before we get going that you can actually download this resource. It is, It does require a small investment, uh, but you can navigate there to uh, discover this resource and all a, select, a selection of other resources from Enterprise DNA TV uh, from a link in the description. So uh, make sure you check it out. Now, in this dashboard we have here, we have so much insight. It's crazy how much insight is in this one dashboard. And I'm utilizing a range of DAX formula to achieve this, but also visualizations, because there's so many ways that you can create visualizations on basically any data set. And I want to showcase how you can, uh, when combining all of these, just create really, really compelling dashboards. So we've got uh, this, this data set, is, is data set I use a lot with, with some of my demos, but it's really a retail uh, a, retail, a retailer uh, on the east coast of the US. So they're selling to a range of different places. In this case, we're focusing in on Florida and New York regions. Uh, and what we're looking at is we're looking at, well, what are our total sales for this particular year uh, versus our sales for, for last year? Now, this demo data set actually runs at the end of 2017. Um, so I'm comparing a total year 2017 to a total year in 2016 in this case. But what we can do is, as, as I've, I've created, a, first of all, a filter on just the region here, but then also I'm comparing in one visualization our sales this year versus last year, so we can quickly see, okay, well, what are our best sellers this year and what did we sell last year? And in this table, I've got uh, information per customer. So we're, so we're actually looking at the performance of our customers this year versus last year, and we've used the incredible data bars visualization inside of these table, inside of these um, new table, this new table feature, uh, and we can really quickly see, okay, well, who are our worst performing customers, and then we can quickly go down to our best performing customers as well. So we could actually sort it the other way and see see how these guys have performed. Now it's uh, quite a, quite a big table um, because it's, it's a big data set. There's a lot of customers. We're selling to a lot of customers. We're a retailer, obviously, um, but um, but really cool nonetheless. You can isolate ugh, so many things. So many things here. First of all, you can isolate. Well, okay. Well, this customer is uh, the the biggest difference between sales last year. Well, why is that? What did they buy last year, not this year? Well, I could select inside that table. I could see where they purchased, and then I can see well they they purchased uh, product 15 and 17 uh, this year but oh, they didn't product, uh, purchase all of these products last year so we should really be figuring out well, why why is that or we should be contacting that customer and offering them a discount or offering them a promotion or something like that and then the same can be said for this customer this customer what we can also do is look at certain products and say okay well let's go and have a look at um, a product that sold well this year but not last year um, so I can select that product and then we can see, well, who are the customers that did buy it? Uh, so we can actually drill into that specific product and say, well, this is, these are the customers in this region that did buy it versus didn't buy it. And what's also cool here is I've, uh, hopefully you're seeing, starting to see this. this is a pretty cool dashboard and I'm going to show you how you can build it in less than 10 minutes. But I've also divided this up into regions. So we could look at the, the entire uh, region uh, in our data set, but I just wanted to focus in, maybe we're just talking to the managers in Florida and, and, and New York, and I've used some additional filters. I've used the filter field uh, on the right-hand side here to actually just narrow down, narrow down uh, each row here into a specific region. But check out this, if I select something within here, it's not meant to, it's not meant to actually filter anything else uh, inside the, the visualization. I just realized I didn't set that up correctly, but if I click here, it only changes inside of this row, and the same should be for here, uh, and that is the case, which is good, and also for within here. So if I select something here, it's only going to change this row, and that is all about editing interactions, so really cool feature there. Okay, so let's, let's try and create this. Let's create this dashboard. Uh, and I'm going to just start from scratch. I'm going to show you how, and seriously, how quickly you can make this. So I've got total sales, and I didn't do anything here um, to recreate that because I've recreated that in so many of my videos. Um, all you got to do is check them all out. 
Uh, and so quickly here, I guess all we've got to figure out, we've got our total sales. We just need to work out our sales last year. So I'm just going to quickly create a measure called sales last year. And this is really, really simple because I've got, we can just inside of calculate, uh, go total sales and then use same period last year as the uh, filter. And so I've got my sales last year. I'm just going to make sure that that is formatted correctly. And then what if I want to create the uh, calculate the difference? Well, it's very easy from here. I'm going to go sales versus last year. And I'm going to, all I'm going to do is go total sales minus sales last year. Easy as that. So simple. And then I'm just going to make sure that's formatted as well. So in terms of the formulas that we had to create, that was it. That is seriously all I've created for this entire dashboard. So now all we've got to do is utilize some of the visualization features to actually get these insights. So I'm going to first of all grab, uh, I'm going to create two visualizations here quickly. So I'm going to go my latitude, my longitude, and then I'm going to go total sales. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to place this filter I'm going to close this filter on here right now. So I'm going to go to the filter area and I'm going to go Florida. So we drill just into Florida. Okay, and then we had our products, right? So I'm going to grab my product name here and I'm going to go total sales versus sales last year. And I'm going to use the clustered bar chart. Now, again, what we can do here is we can filter we can filter, it doesn't have to be a, a, a map, we can filter by the state code here as well. So I'm going to make sure that this is filtered by Florida. And I'm going to filter by sort this year. And then lastly, we're going to create a table here, right? So I'm going to grab my customer dimension and I'm going to put it into a table, which is which it is, which is great. And then I'm going to go total sales, sales last year, and then sales versus last year. And then I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to make this this one bigger because what's so cool about this data bars is we can actually uh, we can only, we can we can have many measures inside a table, but then only isolate one particular uh, column or, or measure and then put a uh, put the data bars inside of there. And so I'm just going to go a really light gray for negative, uh, for pop for positive actually. Sorry, I'm going to put a blue, and then for negative I'm going to put a light gray. And then we can obviously, so it's obviously um, a bit mixed there, so we probably want to just filter that. And then lastly, we've obviously got to make sure this is this is show, showcasing the entire data set, so we've got to go and filter this out at a uh, visual level. And then I'm going to go Florida there as well. And so now we are just viewing. Now we are just now we are just viewing Florida. So there's obviously quite a few customers in Florida. It's a big data set. Now, how easy is that, right? How easy is that? I mean, it's taken us, uh, I would say, maybe about four minutes just to get to here. And so to create the next layer down, I'm going to go copy and paste. And then I'm going to just move these up a little bit. And all I've got to do now is actually just change the state code here. And this is how you can save yourself a lot of time when you actually deliver or build these dashboards. And then I'm going to change this to New York. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do exactly the same here. You don't need to go and um, create all these additional filters and um, do calculate statements, etc. You can just use the power of the data model. That's the key. That's the real key. Remember, um, as you're as you're learning Power BI, is the, the data model is where the real power is at when combined with the DAX, with DAX formulas. Okay, so this is looking pretty sharp. We get, we've got very quickly exactly what we want. Uh, the only other, I guess, thing we need to do here is we need to make sure that the interactions now work. Because if you think about it, if I select this, it's going to filter everything. And this is going to showcase no information because we have a filter here. We have a filter down on these ones of New York. So what we need to do is we need to go and edit interactions of all of these. So we need to make sure that these are actually all turned off. So it's a little bit of manual work, but very doable very doable for uh, if you think about the speed of which you can you can create all your other uh, you know everything else in power bi so i'm just going to quickly go around and uh, and update these 
And then now if I selected say something in here, it's only going to change this visualization. I guess the only other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that these actually filter the correct way. So if I select a different region, we can see, okay, well, what products sold well one year versus the next, what customers um, actually performed well one year to the next, and we can see, um, you know, we, could, we, could, we can generate a lot of things with this. We can generate marketing events, promotional activity, um, you know, so, so on and so forth. I guess it's just important to actually um, you know, very quickly be able to identify, well, what is causing better sales or worse sales or something like that. So I won't go and beautify this a little bit more like I have um, in the example, but I just wanted to showcase how quickly you could actually get to this insight uh, and just utilizing all of, all of the good features. I mean, DAX is not the only thing that you need to actually create compelling visualization. You have a number of options available to you that can um, you know, really showcase the insights that you may want in a variety of different ways. And sometimes I feel like you should even let the data tell you what visualizations that you should that you should showcase. Because the data is you know the data is going to tell you something and then you've got to showcase to whoever is consuming it what um, you know the, the the key information so that they can actually put it into action etc. Okay, so I'm going to round things off here. Uh, hope you like the content. If you did, um, place a like on the video. Really really appreciate it. Reminder, if you want to download this, you can, it just net requires a very small investment. You can find that link in the description. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Fresh, uh, really good content on Power BI every weekday from Enterprise DNA and myself. Uh, and I've got some really great stuff coming up, so don't want you to miss out on it. Okay, that's, uh, that, that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this, uh, this demoing of, of, of dashboarding or quick dashboarding. Uh, so many applications of this and hopefully you can find a way to uh, incorporate this or incorporate a lot of these techniques into your own analysis and your own environments. And I uh, wish you all the best.